Introduction Light is something that everyone is familiar with. It comes from many sources, the main one being our sun, and it provides us with the energy needed for life. Without it, life as we know it would not exist. The form of energy which helps us to see objects is called light. Objectives at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to define light, understand the nature of light, understand the reflection of light by a plain mirror, laws of reflection, differentiate between real and virtual image, light and its sources. The form of energy which helps us to see objects is called light. Light travels in straight line. It causes in us the sensation of sight. There are two sources of light. Luminous objects and non-luminous objects. Luminous objects. The objects which emit their own light are called luminous objects. Example, sun, lamp, candle. Non-luminous objects, the objects which reflect the light which falls on them are called non-luminous objects. Example, moon, chair, etc. Nature of light. To know how light reflects, refracts, diffracts and many other aspects, we have to understand the nature of light by its theories. The nature of light has two theories. Wave theory of light and particle theory of light. Wave theory of light. Light consists of electromagnetic waves which do not require a material medium for its propagation. Its characteristics features are diffraction, interference and polarization. Particle theory of light. Light is composed of particles which travel in a straight line at a very high speed. Its characteristic features is reflection and refraction. Light exhibits the properties of both waves and particles. Light has dual nature. Reflection of light. The sending back of light rays when it falls on the surface of an object is called reflection of light. Objects having polished surface reflect more light than the objects having unpolished, dull surfaces. Silver is the best reflectors of light. Reflection from plane surfaces. Plane mirror is a thin, flat and smooth sheet of glass having a shining coating of silver metal on one side. The silver coating is protected by red paint. Meaning of important terms are as follows to understand the figure. Incident ray. The ray of light which falls on the mirror surface is called the incident ray. Point of incidence. The point at which the incident ray falls on the mirror is called the point of incidence. Reflected ray. The ray of light which is sent back by the mirror is called the reflected ray. Normal. The normal is a line at right angle to the mirror surface at the point of incidence. It is a line which is perpendicular to the mirror at the point of incidence. Lateral inversion. When an object is placed in front of a plane mirror, then the right side of the object appears to become the left side of image and the left side of the object appears to become the right side of image. This change of sides of an object and its mirror image is called lateral inversion. Characteristics of an image formed by a plane mirror. The image formed is virtual. It cannot be received on a screen. The image formed is erect. The size of the image is as of the object. The image formed by the plane mirror is at the same distance behind the mirror. The image formed is laterally inverted, sideways reversed. Uses of plane mirror. 
they are used to see ourselves. They are fixed on the inside wall of certain shops like jeweler shop to make them look bigger. Plain mirrors are used in making periscopes. They are used at blind turns of busy roads to prevent accidents. Plain mirrors are used as looking glass. They are used in solar cookers. They are used to make kaleidoscope, a toy which produces beautiful patterns from colored paper, pieces of glass or small colored beads. Laws of Reflection First Law of Reflection The incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal all lie in the same plane. Second Law of Reflection the angle of reflection is always equal to the angle of incidence, difference between objects and images. Object Anything which gives out light rays is called an object. Images Image is an optical appearance produced when light rays coming from an object is reflected from a mirror. Difference between real and virtual images Real images. The images that can be obtained on the mirror are called real images. Example. Images formed on a cinema screen. It is formed by a concave mirror. Virtual images. The images that cannot be obtained on a screen are called virtual images. Example. Image of our face in a plain mirror. It is formed by concave lens. Did you know, visible light has wavelength in a range from about 380 nanometers to about 740 nanometers with a frequency range of about 405 terahertz to 790 terahertz. Light which is emitted and absorbed in tiny packets called photons exhibits properties of both waves and particles. This property is referred to as the wave particle duality. The speed of light in a vacuum is defined to be exactly 29 crores, 97 lakhs, 92,458 meter per second, that is, 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second. Mechanisms that can produce light. Scintillation, electroluminescence, sonoluminescence, Triboluminescence, Cherenkov radiation. Summary Let us summarize what you have learned. Light is a form of energy which enables us to see objects. Light exhibits the properties of both waves and particles. Hence, light has dual nature. The process of sending back of light rays which falls on it is called reflection. The change in direction of light when it passes from one medium to another is called refraction. The angle of incidence is the angle made by the incident ray with the normal. The angle of reflection is the angle made by the reflected ray with the normal at the point of incidence. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Image is formed when the light rays coming from an object meet at a point after reflection from a mirror. In plane mirrors, there is the effect of reversing the sights of an object and its image is called lateral inversion.